<sighs> As you can tell by the Eye of Agamotto, Loki, uh, Infinity, Gauntlet Ring, I just came back from seeing Multiverse of Madness. And this is going to be a spoiler-free review, so no no spoilers for the movie. Um, but yeah, so th there were moments in that movie where I wanted to show emotions, but the past MCU films have just drained me of my emotions, so I physically cannot fucking cry while I wanted to cry. That's not saying the movie was bad, no. It, it had its emotional fucking uh, turmoil like all Marvel movies I like that do that uh, gets me um, there was some incredible uh, you know moments for the fans there were some emotional moments with the, the character of the movie um, I mean there, there, there was some bad things to it too as pointed out on my other half um, other, other than that all in all the movie was it it was good, like it it was more than good. It was it was what I what I wanted it to be. Um, I I cannot talk right now because I'm just I, I can't put my my thoughts into words right now. Um, but yeah, the Multiverse of Madness. I I would highly recommend it. Um, if I had to give it a grade, um, I would give it a solid. 8.5 9 out of 10 um, I, I it's one of those I don't want to give it a 10 out of 10 uh, mostly because I, I think I may the people may call me out to be biased but I give it a solid 8.5 um, I feel like that that would be the best grade to give it without you know without you know the biases of Doctor Strange and the you know the mystical magic that I love um, of Strange um, as well as it's one of the things to highly recommend is like I do with any Marvel movies when you go to see it go to see it with an with an open mind um, if you go in with high expectation low expectations um, you may well even just if you go in with high expectations you might you know it, it might push you down just going not saying it's gonna be bad either but I'm saying it's gonna be bad or good either way um, but when you go in go in with an open mind um, from what the article said about that 12 seconds of American Chavez's, uh, moms being shown, it was nothing that bad. Like, and just to spoil that one part, there wasn't even a kissing scene. There was just, like, a romantic gaze, and that was about it. Like, so, why people are fussing about that 12 seconds, I don't fucking know. Um, but yeah. The, the ending was a little bit kind of like... Uh, really? Not not in like a really disappointed way. I mean, when you think about it, it is and it isn't. Um. But but it's it's kind of like I don't want to say anticlimactic. It's like anticlimactic, kind of like. Yeah, it it, it kind of gets not. Uh, I wasn't say not spoiled, but midway through the close to the main climax of the movie. Um, one of the characters does say how the, the villain's going to be defeated. I'm not going to say who the villain is. That's going to spoil the movie, obviously, for obvious reasons. Um, but yeah, um, like I said, I highly recommend it. Um, I, I don't want to do a lot. I don't want to do a long reaction video. Like I said, I just got back home recently, fed my cats, let my dogs in. Um, and I just wanted to just hop on the recording and just record my thoughts um but yeah it was it, it was nice it was actually something i needed to uh yeah the end the ending part of this video is going to be therapy for me um nah it was this is definitely something i needed i wish i would have wore the good luck amulet though sadly i didn't take this with me um because i was going with a group of friends and among that group was somebody i, I wanted to try and ask out um so I felt if I would have brought this, it probably, you know. So the closest thing I can do to a nerdy thing was one of my Loki sweater. I know Loki's not part of Doctor Strange. Um, 
I just don't have a, a Doctor Strange hoodie, so this is the closest thing I got. Um, yeah. Other than that, though, th this is something I definitely needed. Um, I, I, I thought today was going to be ruined because I, I planned for today, um, like, weeks, two weeks in advance. And, I don't know, this whole week just felt like I, I wasn't going to be able to see it. Or I wasn't going to be able to do the thing I wanted to do. And I was able to, so. Yeah. I mean, a lot of people hate on Marvel superhero movies um, because of, you know, what the, not cliche, but, you know, some of the endings are either predictable or can be solved with the simplest of things. And not, that's not saying multiverse of madness, not spoiling it, that's any superhero movie. Um, but it's, I don't know, it's just something that I just, I, I really like the movie. It's, it's why I can't, like, I can see the flaws, but it still makes me love the movie. Um, and it still makes me want to succeed like it did. Um, would it be No Way Home? I don't, I don't think, so. the, like, No Way Home, the bar was, was too high. Um, especially with the, the, the three cam, well, like, two cameos for the one main character that we got. The, the three, the three characters. Um, but if I had to say anything, if I had to put this on a grading list in a top three, it would be No Way Home. Multiverse of Madness by a close second. And then... It's a, uh, for third place, it's a tie between... God, I don't know who I put in third. All I know is there's No Way Home, Multiverse of Madness, and... God, it, it's... Third place is stuck between Doctor Strange, um... Infinity War and Endgame, and the Guardians movies. Um, but yeah, guys, uh, go check out uh, Multiverse of Madness before I start rambling my my things. If you guys want, I'll do a spoiler um, review, my my takes on it. Um, but yeah, so if you guys want, you know, feel free to uh, check out the movie at your local theater. Um, I've had people tell me I should have pre-ordered my tickets. I was able to get my ticket in person like I purchased my ticket you know today and we were able to get seats fine like me and my me and my buddies we were able to get we were all in the same row not close by but we were in the same row um so yeah go see the movie as soon as you can avoid spoilers if you have seen the movies please do not spoil it again um I I don't I do not advocate spoil uh, spoilers I hate it it it, it ruins the movies um, but de definitely watch it before somebody spoils it for you. Watch it as soon as you can. And with that, guys, I will see you all later. Um, I don't know if I'm going to put this on Way of the Lock or my Ying Yang channel. I'll probably put it on both. Uh, but anywho, guys, I'm Way of the Lock. Follow me on TikTok, YouTube. I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.